Okay, we've just finished the part of Let's Get Regional, our written activity. We only did the Piedmont region part because that's the only region we've talked about up to this point. The next thing that you're going to be working on is look, learning about Georgia Mountains habitat and region. The mountains in Georgia were formed over a billion years ago. Brass Town Bald is in the Georgia mountain and it is the highest point in Georgia rising over 4,784 feet above sea level. And you can note here, it's all the way up here. So you will also note that, if you can remember, the Piedmont region is in this area, the mountains region is above the Piedmont region. Here you see a beautiful picture landscape of the trees and plants in the mountain habitat. Um, and guess what? They're the same trees and plants you will mostly find in the Piedmont region. Now, you might find the same plants and trees, but what you're probably not going to find is some of the animals in this region that are in the Piedmont region. They will be somewhat different. You'll find some animals that are common to both, but there are a few I don't think I want to see in the Piedmont region since that is where I live. Okay, so the mountain animals pictured here are land animals, and we have the mountain lions. No, I don't want to see that when I'm walking out my door. The bobcat and the eastern cottontail rabbit. So those are all common to the mountain region. And I know for a fact I don't want to see the mountain lion or the bobcat in my region of Piedmont. Additional land animals um, prominent to the mountain region would be the deer, which you'll note was also in the Piedmont region, so some animals are common to both. You have a black bear, I don't want that to be common to both, and then you have the red fox, which I have seen a red fox in the Piedmont region in my area of town. So this animal I know you would find in both places. water animals of the mountain habitat and region. You will find brown trout, the largemouth bass, American toad, river otters, and again, another kind of trout. Looks like a rainbow trout. So it's got a little color to it. Um, the, this frog prefers to be in rocky, mountainous places, but you can find it in lots of other habitats too. Now, if you're looking for a mountainous, rocky area of Georgia, then the mountain region is where you would want to go. If you're going to want to find rolling hills in Georgia, not very mountainous, not very flat, then that's when we would have to go back to the Piedmont region of Georgia. An additional piece of information is the largemouth bass it is the state fish of Georgia. So now you've heard the Cherokee rose is the state flower. The brown thrasher is the state bird. And here, now here we have the largemouth bass, which you will find in the mountain habitat and region of Georgia. Here you will find you have a bat, the great horned owl. You have another picture here. Looks like an eagle. You have another eagle. Now, what's interesting about these animals and what kind of stands out for them is that their beaks, their, their nose and their beaks, are kind of adapted to where they live. And you'll also find that the claws that they have basically are adaptable to them based on where they live. Now, Carolyn Gruber, you have a phone call? Now, we're talking about the mountain habitat and region of Georgia. And when you're talking about the mountain region of Georgia, you're talking about tall trees. You have a lot of tall trees. And birds love that. So you will find a lot of different types of birds in the mountain region of Georgia. These are only a few of those. Now, we're going to stop at this point, and we're going to do the second portion of our paper Let's get regional.